All right, let's go ahead and perform this operation, which is subtraction, and then we'll simplify. All right, looking at this problem, we have two fractions. And since they are fractions, we're going to need common denominators. So in order to find common denominators, let's go ahead and factor out both of them completely so we know what's missing from each of them. So there we have those factored, and we can see from the term on the left, since uh, the term on the right has two x's, and this one only has one, now in order to square this, we'll want to multiply the expression by x in both the numerator and denominator. Now not only is it missing an x, but it's also missing an x minus 1. So I'll need to multiply it there in the denominator and the numerator. So let's look at this term on the right. We have x squared and x minus 1. So it already had two x's, so we don't need to multiply it by another x, but it doesn't have an x minus 3, so we're going to have to multiply this by x minus 3 in both the numerator and denominator. Now again, the reason we multiply in both the numerator and denominator is so that it doesn't change the value of the expression, or e either of the terms. So after we've done this, now we can make this one large fraction. So there we go, we have one full fraction, and then I'm just going to go ahead and distribute this 4x and also this negative 3. So again, notice by this time our denominator is not changing, but after distributing this 4x into the parentheses and this negative 3 into this parentheses, we have a new numerator. And from here we're just going to combine like terms, and once we take that negative 4x and subtract 3x, we just have a negative 7x. And that's it. That's pretty much simplified. We can't really cancel anything out. Uh, we could try to factor out this 4x squared minus 7x plus 9, but it's not going to work. As it turns out, this is our final expression, and that's about as simplified as we can make this.